Hello everyone, my hands are all over the place. I don't even know where you can see me, I don't know. But hey y'all, thank you for watching Budget Life with Paula. I am Paula and my setup is really different. So I've got my daughter watching the camera making sure you guys can see what you can see. But today we are going to do a cash stuffing slash savings challenge into my house category binder okay so that's what we're going to do today but before we do that I want to say hello to all of my new viewers if you like um, content like this please subscribe please give me a thumbs up comment hit that bell notification button so you will be notified every time I post a video my channel is all about budgeting savings savings challenges budget with me weekly check-ins um, we are on the road to save for a new home so like all the things okay so all the things budgeting please check me out before we get into the stuffing today uh, we're going to do a quick shout out to all of the budgeting community link sponsors or participants i think that's who they are participants this this week budgeting april has created a new place for all of us budgeters to kind of support each other get to know each other um and there's so many of us i didn't even realize there were so many budgeters and people out there using um the youtube uh what is it social media to really kind of help each other out with budgeting. So this week, we've got four people that we're gonna be supporting and let's start with Mommy Trader. Mommy Trader actually is on um, a journey to retire early. Her and her husband are on the track to retire early. Her channel is all about like budgeting and reinvest, um, re I'm sorry, and um, investing, not reinvesting, but investing your money, placing your money, um, in certain places so that it can grow and grow over time. If you all are wondering how to do that, I'm learning um, so much about the investment world from Shalice over at Mommy Trader. Please go check her out. Support her channel. She is awesome and amazing. She's very sweet and very down to earth, but she shares, she's like an open book. She shares so much information about investments. Um, it's D is new to me and, um, I just supported her this week. I look forward to seeing her budget journey, see what her channel is all about. That girl budgets is also new to me, but I am excited to find out what her channel is really all about and, um, her budget journey, I believe. Um, Vita with Vicky is also, I've just subscribed to her this week. Um, but like I said, I am really excited to find out what, um, she's doing and, and the ways that they are all saving and budgeting because we can learn so much from each other. All right. So check them out this week. We've got until Saturday to do that. Okay. And then you can continue. If you add them and you subscribe to them, you can continue to watch the videos. Right. So yeah, let's go ahead on and get into this savings challenge. So this is, um, Build a buffer. This is this savings challenge I did purchase from um, Annette's Creations. I will put her uh, budget, um, her Etsy shop. I will post her Etsy shop down in my descriptions below. But go check her out. She's got some wonderful um, savings challenges. Okay. When I finish the savings challenge, I should have um, $525 or more in this because I've been stuffing before I did this. So we will see, I think so. We'll see how much I have in here when this challenge is over. It's probably gonna be a little bit more. All right, so over time, um, today we're gonna be stuffing a total of $200 in this binder. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is the sticky. I told you I have stickies. Um, this money is coming from my income from July and part of my income in August. So each envelope is going to get $20. We should have $200, let's just check. Um, and they're all in tens, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have a very cute new cal calculator that I want to display, even though I know that's going to equal up to 200. Let's just do it because I want to show y'all my new calculator that I got from Staples. Um, 20 times 10 equals 200. Okay. Very cute calculator. I was picking up some school supplies for the kiddos and yeah, I saw that one and I wanted to pick it up. So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to leave this one because this um, icon, I own, I colored in four already, so it's like $6 left. I think it's going to, I don't know, but I, just, I want to find $6 and color that in. So I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that one. So we've got, so let's see how we're going to do this. 30, I don't know if you can see this. Joe, can everyone see my savings challenge paper? I'm hoping so. Can everybody see what I'm doing right here? She may have to adjust it, y'all. So I'm looking at the 30s row. So we've got 30, 60, 90. Good. She says, I'm good. We'll do that. And I'm going to use my calculator definitely, right? So we've got 90. We're going to color in 90. I've got a really deep purple marker this time. It's going to be all shades of purple, you guys. If you've watched any of my savings challenge videos, you know I am not perfect with my coloring. So there you go. So this is 90. 90. 90. Uh, let's see. 110. 130. 150. If we do that, plus 60. Yep. So we'll do all of these 20s. We got to get to 200. We've got to color in 50 more. Hope y'all are doing good today. I think this weekend they're saying that they're calling for some rain for us. This was my birthday week and I had a wonderful time. I'm looking for $50. 15 to 15 is 30. 30. Wait, I can do what now? I can do a 35 plus a 15. Oh my goodness, y'all. I think I did wrong. Let me see. 20, 40, 60. 60. I got the talking. Uh, 30, 60, 90 plus 90. Leaving me with um, $50 left. Okay, so then if we do a 35... Yeah, that's what I thought. So we'll do a 35. I thought so. A 35 here. Yeah, my birthday weekend. My birthday week was this week. And I had a really good time. Yep, there we go. So that's our that's our coloring. Um now we're just gonna stuff and count. I'm gonna slide that over there. So everybody's getting 20. And I think everybody will have the same amount except for utilities, right? Because utilities um, has a little bit more. Because utilities, if you all are new, right, and you don't know, if you if you don't know, we'll, I'll put my cash stuffing house category video um, up in the corner um, of the screen so you can check some of those videos out. But um, this binder I created because when we move into the new house, I've got envelopes for different rooms in the new house, right? And we may need um, to purchase something. We may need to decorate, you know, get some um, towels and, and bed linen um, for the laundry room, uh, the bedrooms, the kitchen may need some things. And then I have a utilities envelope here. That's for when we move and we start to get... Um, bills at the new house. I want to already have money set aside. A lot of people have an envelope similar to this and they, excuse me, they call it a month ahead or two to three months ahead. So that's what kind of the same thing as what I'm doing. It's just basically for the new house. So that's got money in it already. So it has a little bit more than the others. So right now, bathroom, including this $20, it's got 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 
37. And that should be the amount that all of them have except for utilities, okay? And I do a end of the year, I'm not end of the year, goodness, a end of the month check in on all of my um, envelopes or most of my envelopes. So we will see at the end of August how much we have. Yep, that's the same. So we said this was what every envelope is going to get. Um, we should have, let's say, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. Every envelope should have $37. And I put that 10 upside down. I like my monies to be going all the same order. So, yeah, we're just going to get 37. Y'all, I don't forgot already. I think it's 37. 37 for every envelope. Who's that? That's Caleb. So Caleb's room. And um, like I always say in a lot of my um, house uh, binder videos, when I when I um, stuff this binder, you know, we, we've got furniture. They've got beds and things like that. But they may want, let me straighten out this money, y'all. They may want um, comforters or something they want to decorate their room with. So that's what the money's for. Um, bathrooms. <clears throat> We may want to get some things for the bathrooms at the house. Miss Jojo's room's getting 20, so that was 37. Yep, everybody's getting 37. I think that's such a great idea. And thank you all so much who've been commenting um, on these house cash stuffing videos. Um, I appreciate your comments. And yeah, I just, I'd rather us have the monies available now. Um, and I know housing market is, is crazy. Interest rates is crazy and things, you know, things are going on, life is going on, but when it's time, um, for me to purchase the home and do all of that, we'll have things together. And I said in my last video, we'll, you know, with, especially with the utilities envelope, bills will be paid and we'll still be, you know, selling in, unboxing things and, um, you know, I don't feel like cooking and then, you know, we'll have monies here in these envelopes if we don't use them. We can just order pizza or whatever. We're, you know, trying to settle in to the new home. We'll have monies already in these envelopes. You know, I think that's such, that's the great thing about budgeting, y'all. And it can be small amounts. It, it doesn't have to be $20, you know, for like 10 envelopes. This was over like two months. So it doesn't have to be so much. And I think... I'm talking, and that's what happens. I put probably a $30 bill in one of these. Let's go ahead on and put $10, $20 in mine because I only have a $10 left, and I know that's not right. So, y'all know by now, when I talk, money's start to go missing because I'm talking and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just talking. So, but I don't want it to be quiet. I don't want to like not say anything and just let y'all see my hands. I'm gonna find that uh, extra ten dollars because I know it. I just counted it. Unless it's nope, oh, it's not underneath here. So it's somewhere in one of these envelopes. I'm gonna check to make sure it's not nope, nothing fell. Joe, you may want to check the count on um, the camera because I think I just bumped it. Uh, are we good? You're still seeing my hands and not everything else. I'm going to find this $10, y'all. Give me a second. Y'all know I'm going to find it. So, it's not here in the kitchen envelope. Let's see. Is it in Joe's? Last time I put extra money in Joe's. Nope. I was like, that darn it, Joe. She always trying to take my extra money. <laughs> I said it in one of my videos about you, Joe. Let's see who has the extra $10. Y'all, y'all know I just counted 20 $10 bills. And now it's like I got 19 That's not right. Y'all know what I'll do. I'll pull out all these 10s. And do it over again. Let's see what we got. <gasps> Bathroom. Bathroom had the extra one. There we go. And that was the first envelope that I stuffed. <laughs> that was the first envelope I stuffed. 
Now let's go all the way back to utilities. Now we go. Utilities. And like I said, I really want this envelope to really have like some heavy, good, good amount of money. So we've got 50, 70, 80, 90, 101. We've got $101 in our utilities envelope. 50, 70, 80, 90, 101. That's great. That's a good start. We're going to keep putting monies in this envelope. And we will go from there. So right now, let's calculate. So we've got, what do we have? 37 times 9 envelopes is 333 plus the utilities had a little bit more. So 333. Hey, Joe, can you um, zoom in and make sure they're seeing this calculator? So let's do it again. Hopefully you guys can see it. So $37 total in 9 envelopes out of the 10 envelopes that's 333 plus the 101 in utilities so right now our house category binder has a total of 434 dollars we are almost halfway there we good okay she says we're good with the zooming in so let's see let's just check our savings challenge right we're almost there y'all um we've got We've got a $15. We've got $20, $40, plus $60, plus the $25. You know, I'm going to break those down. Three twenty-fives plus $90, plus a $35, then another $35. Then what is that? $40, plus $40, plus $40. And then we've got four little dollars in this corner plus four yep we are 434 dollars in the binder and have colored in our savings challenge let's see how far we got left stuff only 91 dollars left y'all Ooh, and here go this is how i do off camera can it fit into 10 times so <laughs> they're saying that they're saying that it needs nine dollars and ten cents in each one of those envelopes so next time we should be able to stuff another hundred dollars. So each envelope should get like 10 more dollars. And then we will be finished with our savings challenge. So y'all, we got $91 left to go on this $525 savings challenges. No wonder everybody loves savings challenges. I'm almost done. We have $500. $500 in this binder. That's crazy. I love it, y'all. Listen, if you like this video, thank you so much for watching it and give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.